as a DevOps engineer in a mid to large organization, it's not uncommon for us to manage applications deployed across VMs, bare metal, vanilla Kubernetes clusters, and manage Kubernetes clusters. It is also a common scenario to see different teams deploying their applications using different pipelines, such as Jenkins, Argo CD, and more. As we evolve our infrastructure, we also often see multiple infrastructure as code tools used for various projects. Given such a complex scenario, how do we define standard application level policies that can be defined and enforced across different infrastructure and tools? To be effective, you should treat and enforce application policies as a cohesive group of controls that can be used by any tool on any infrastructure. As part of this cohesive approach, your policy definition should be detached from the underlying infrastructure. So no matter if you're deploying applications on VMs, bare metal, or Kubernetes, this application definition should still be the same. It should also allow you to control application resource limits, and RBAC is also equally important. And having a well-defined model can help you reduce complexity drastically as you scale or evolve the infrastructure. Depending on the type of applications deployed, you want to make sure that some of those may be directly exposed to their end users, while others may only be able to communicate with specific services or maybe not allow any ingress or egress at all. Implementing an effective policy model also includes limiting the registries developers can pull their images from when deploying applications so you know that images deployed have, are validated by your team. And last but not least, you want to ensure that applications deployed comply with security standards defined by your team, depending on the environment they're being deployed to. Defining all those independently and focusing on the underlying infrastructure pipeline or infrastructure as code tool may be a daunting and complex task. So how do you implement a standard policy definition that can help you address all points mentioned while having operational security components such as reports available, allowing you to evolve and scale the application infrastructure quickly? That's where policy as code comes in. Let's see how a standard policy as code definition can help you quickly address application security across your mixed infrastructure. In front of us, we have a policy framework definition using Terraform. This policy will be automatically applied to applications once it's created. Here you can see that this policy will be later bound to a Kubernetes cluster. Next, we can see the level of security scan that should be guaranteed for applications deployed using this policy and some exceptions. We also have some limits on application scalability and limits on which teams can deploy applications using this policy. Resource limits are also enforced, so applications deployed using this policy will automatically be bound to those limits. And last, we can see default network policies that should be applied to applications deployed using this policy framework. Now, let's say you use Crossplane and want to have your policies defined and enforced. Let's look at the definition. You can quickly compare and see they're exactly the same, which gives you the freedom to move between different infrastructure as code tools, but keep consistency when it comes to application policies and governance. You can define and store policies in Git, so your different pipelines can then trigger and manage those policies as part of your, of your infrastructure management. As they communicate with your Shipa API, they can then bind these policies to your existing and new clusters making it incredibly easy for you to evolve and scale infrastructure securely. Last, you can assign different policy frameworks to various development teams. As they deploy their applications, these policies are automatically enforced, blocking any applications that don't comply with them from being deployed to your clusters and servers. They also automatically generate the proper reports, so you or your DevSecOps team can quickly audit security and policies on an ongoing basis.